And uh, I'm talking now uh, personal income that I earn on this year that I'm gonna send this year from Finnish bank account to my Thai bank account. And here are my calculations, a lot of numbers. <laughs> if I send uh, on this year 1 million baht, I don't need to pay any tax in Thailand because I already pay enough taxes in Finland and Thailand uh, give me credit for that. But, however, if I send 1.2 million baht, it's already going uh, the next tax bracket here, which is 25% uh, tax bracket. And I calculated that, so if I send 1.2 million on this year earned income, uh, I will pay in Thailand uh, next year because I will file my tax return next year. 26,000 baht. Is it a lot? Should I think now if Thailand tax me, I want to move out? No, of course not. Savarika Poi. You got some questions about the balcony Airbnb room. So let's answer some questions uh, before we go the tax topic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so someone asked uh, if he book book uh, your Airbnb room uh, is Wi-Fi free? Yeah. What about electricity? Yep. Yeah. Free. Free. Water. Free. It's like all inclusive. Same hotel. Yeah. And then uh, someone asked also uh, if he want to rent uh, long term. Uh, he mentioned one month or six months, even one year. What is your answer? I have planned first already, uh, not for long term, only short term. Short term. Yes, short only short term. Uh, maybe just more one week enough, or just one day, two day, yeah. two day. Not not one month because uh, this new home is home. <laughs> <laughs> home is home. Yes, uh, this we do A and B because we need to test marketing in Bulilam first before yeah. we start business or do something in the future. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is this is now we are we are testing out this and uh, of course if there is now someone uh, who who is interested in in uh, Buriram, Buriram uh, I think uh, we can suggest that first why not you uh, come to stay with us one night two night maybe three nights. Mm -hmm. You can check the area, and of course, then we can think uh, if you want to stay with us maybe longer. Uh, then after a few nights, we already know who you are, and we know you better. Yes. Maybe we, we can also offer some kind of uh, like ploys a uh, one week solution, or or who knows if we get good friends, uh, maybe. Oh, oh no. Yeah. Maybe longer if we if we match. Oh no! <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, no, don't know. Yeah. But I just this we do first. Okay, we know you tell everyone in the YouTube. We need we just a short time, not long, not for a long time. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. We not we not uh, employ don't uh, specifically uh, search uh, long term tenants because. Uh, this is still our home, so the short term is the target, uh, target uh, uh, people. Yes. People who like to visit in Buriram maybe stay, and 
like like to stay a few nights here. Uh, that's the that's the whole point. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And if you have any any other questions about this Airbnb, uh, just leave a comments and we will reply every comments. Yeah. How was the weekend? Big party. Big party. <laughs> yeah, your great grandmother uh, turned, I think, 97. Ni 97. Or maybe 98. Yes. Yeah, or maybe 99. We don't know. I think no one knows for sure because when your great grandmother uh, born, she born at home. Yes, and she go in the office late. Yeah, mm -hmm. so they they uh, no one knows if uh, when when the re re registration date how how many days or years after was it mm -hmm. the actually the born the born day mm, office far yeah office was far and the, how many years ago oh. but uh, 90 years ago yeah but the official id uh, tells that uh, uh, yeah. she turned uh, 97 97 yeah yes. yeah 97 mm -hmm. All right. You can see in the party. Yes. Also, Ploy have made uh, some some uh, extra videos uh, to her other channel, so we will pin pin that link also. Yes. All right. Yeah. All right. And then one of my my personally my favorite topics: taxes in Thailand. And uh, we we got also uh, some questions uh, about our uh, previous uh, uh, tax videos. So firstly, I will highlight, of course, that uh, because someone comment and ask, uh, do I have any proper credentials uh, to give to give out uh, legal advice? And the answer is no, as I stated. Uh, every video, tax related video, I'm not tax advisor, I'm not tax guru, but I have first hand tax knowledge because I filed my tax ret return uh, first time ever a uh, couple of weeks ago here, here at Buriram tax office. So the purpose of these tax videos is only to share experiences as an expat because I have also lived now uh, quite exactly two years in Thailand. And now I at least know how to file my tax return here in Thailand. So I cannot see any, any wrong of that if I share, share my expat tax experience here in Thailand. Although I know that uh, every case is different and uh, my 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 tax how i filed my tax return is only my experience how i did it and like i said every case is different and no one knows uh, where you are coming from no no one knows uh, what kind of uh, what kind of money do you remit into the thailand is it savings or is it uh, is it what kind of income so uh, I highly suggest that uh, you, you go your nearest tax office in Thailand and you clarify your situation because only that way you, you can know what are your tax uh, liabilities here in Thailand. If you are tax resident uh, this year, like I'm gonna do tax resident again uh, in this year. And first, I would like to ask, uh, not ask, but uh, answer a few few comments. Uh, and and someone ask uh, questions. I made small note here. Uh, so, how did the tax office saw that? I remit, remitted uh, about 4 million baht uh, last, last year. 
because I have told you many times that uh, because we built this beautiful house, I needed to remit, of course, uh, huge, huge amount of money uh, from my Finnish bank account to 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 Thai uh, Thai bank account. So, firstly, the tax office uh, didn't saw that because. I filed my tax return voluntarily, which is also my only, only tip. It's not, it's not uh, any any legal advice, but it's my only tip I can uh, give you that. Go to your nearest tax office. The, the people are very helpful there, and uh, I just hope that there is someone who can speak English. Uh, but in any case, uh, if you have a Thai spouse or Thai girlfriend or boyfriend, uh, go with him or with her to clarify your situation. Because if they don't speak English and if the English is your language, uh, then uh, you you cannot get any any clarification if you don't speak same language. Yeah. And how did I get my tin? TIN number, tax identification number is, well, the tax office gave it to me. And if I can pin again the, uh, the tax re related video, how, how did I do, do that? Uh, but but uh, so when I was with Ploy, uh, at the tax office, uh, first I met tax advisor who calculated all uh, all numbers basically. Yeah. So uh, the next question was, uh, what documents uh, did I bring? Well, I I had my uh, official uh, Finnish uh, tax authorities. Luckily, uh, I got it uh, online. So I I had uh, with me one paper. Uh, it was uh, English translated. Uh, my tax report, my income report uh, from last year, and that income report, of course, they can see uh, how much how much was my income and how much did I already pay taxes in Finland because as you might already know Thailand has uh, double tax treaties uh, with many countries including Finland so the tax advisor who work under government uh, she explained how they how they calculate uh, my tax liabilities and of course uh, it depends how much because I was tax resident uh, 180 days or more last year and because uh, the money what I remitted was partly also income it was personal income that I earned also at the same year that's why it's it was also taxable here in Thailand. Yeah. And by the way, someone comment if that income, uh, if the income was it uh, earned 2022, and if I remitted that next year 2023, that would not be taxable in my case, but because that income was earned at the same year 2023 that was uh, taxable of course in my home country in Finland and also taxable here Thailand however I will again to clarify this situation uh, why did I not need to pay any taxes in Thailand uh, it's because these uh, double tax treaties. And I will now highlight that uh, because the amount was very big, 4 million baht, what I remitted, 
the majority of that 4 million was not uh, personal income. It was, it was dividend income and then I sold uh, some, of, some of my shares, uh, which means stocks. But it was, uh, it was, it so let's say, uh, I also calculated out now today uh, to make this more clear because I wanted to know, uh, uh, do I need to pay taxes uh, in next year? So here is my, so here is my calculations. Uh, of course, if I send any money that I earned before January 1st, 2024, that's not taxable in Thailand. And Thailand has told this already officially. I don't need to be any tax advisor to give this knowledge because you can Google, Google this. If, if you know how to use Google, uh, you can Google this information uh, very easily. But anyway, anyway, if I send this year, because I'm tax resident, if I send uh, income that I earn in this year, 2024, that might be taxable in Thailand also. All thought, I pay already uh, taxes in Finland. And I have now uh, two examples because a uh, few days ago I saw also uh, one of the Isan law companies here, uh, the lawyer, lawyer uh, posted uh, one, one, uh, one of uh, his clients uh, who live in Konkeen, uh, real experience. And I can tell you that uh, with my own experience. <clears throat> so, firstly, my own calculations is now this. And keep in mind, uh, I'm talking now uh, personal income that I earn on this year, that I'm gonna send this year from Finnish bank account to my Thai bank account. And here are my calculations, a lot of numbers. <laughs> if I send uh, on this year 1 million baht, I don't need to pay any tax in Thailand because I already pay enough taxes in Finland and Thailand uh, give me credit for that. But however, if I send 1.2 million baht, it's already going uh, the next tax bracket here, which is 25% uh, tax bracket. And I calculated that. So if I send 1.2 million on this year earned income, uh, I will pay in Thailand uh, next year because I will file my tax return next year, 26,000 baht. Is it a lot? Should I think now if Thailand tax me, I want to move out? No, of course not. This is still, I think, 10 times uh, cheaper than in my home country in Finland and many other countries uh, that I know what are the living costs. Yeah, so, and if I sent more than 1.2 million, of course, then the, the tax amount goes again more up. So this is just one way uh, how I now uh, uh, make a plans uh, to remit the money on this year. Uh, I have also some other ideas uh, how to save taxes, but uh, 
I can talk about uh, these things uh, on on upcoming videos. But now let's give that another example of that uh, lawyer company here in Nissan and this example was that uh, so one of the he is also expat who is uh, who is going to live here more than well basically permanently I guess he already have a house here and and uh, he went to uh, Konkeen Revenue Office to clarify his situation, which is very smart move, by the way. So this expat, and we don't know now uh, what is his uh, nationality, but anyway, uh, he generate uh, 100,000 baht. Uh, he has two pensions, and I'm, we, we cannot even know how much he pay taxes in his home country. But anyway, uh, firstly, he asked uh, about, about uh, do, do he need TIN uh, tax identification number or not? And the Konkeen, and keep in mind, this is now only in Konkeen. I know many, many other provinces say that uh, they don't know anything about these rules. Every province is a little bit different. But Konkeen Revenue Office told this expert that everyone needs TIN number if you want to live in Thailand. So if you live in Konkeen, uh, prepare to get your TIN number because Konken, this is uh, how Konken implement at this moment these uh, tax rules. So, and by the way, this expert told that uh, they were very friendly, uh, just like our, our visit uh, here at Buriram, uh, very helpful and what is, what is, I think, good service also that there is people who know these uh, double tax treaties. Uh, there are tax advisors, so. Uh, but anyway, uh, how much uh, this expat, uh, unnamed expats need to pay taxes if he sent uh, 100,000 baht uh, monthly from his home country to Thailand and the answer is same as I did 26,000 baht per year and he need to pay this 26,000 baht uh, next year in April uh, set this uh, Isan Isan uh, law company lawyer so here is now <coughs> Again, again, uh, one example. I know many people think that pensions pensions are exempted because of double tax treaties, but it's not. This example uh, tells all us that uh, not every pension is treated is not treated the same. So every double tax treaty is a little bit different, and that's why it's very important that. Uh, you get to know your home country's uh, double tax treaty. How is it with Thailand? All right, that's it. Thank you for watching. Remember, subscribe and subscribe. Yes, we will see you on the next video. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs>